watching Good Morning San Diego. Time to start thinking about ringing in the new year. Already. Up next, we've got some tips on how you can make an inexpensive wine taste like a million bucks. Wow, we have one of those. We right do. There. Well, with New Year's Eve just days away, now's the time to find that perfect wine to toast in the new year. That's right. KUSI's Alexis Del Chiaro spoke with the president of the original Wine Club of the Month. Gives us a few suggestions. Ooh, listen in. Yeah. Welcome back. And if you're looking for some great ideas for host gifts or ways to toast the new year, then we've got something for all you wine lovers. Paul Kalamkarian, the president of the Original Wine of the Month Club, is here to show us some great ideas for all the winos in our lives. Good morning, Paul. Good morning. It's great to be here. That was a great job with my name. It's so long, 12 letters. You did it. I'm Del Chiaro, so I feel your pain. There you go. That's right. <laughs> so wine is actually a great gift to give someone uh, if you know them well or if you don't really know them that well, right? It's a great gift because it just means life and it means fun and it means energy for everybody that gets a bottle of wine or champagne for their holidays. So what kind of fun stuff do you uh, have to show Oh, we got some really today? cool stuff today. I brought some gadgets that are becoming quite popular in the wine business and they're used to sort of advance the age. Um, one of the things that we used to do in the old days, we would decant a wine mm -hmm. and we would separate the sediment from the wine so we have nice clear wine. But now we have devices to do that uh, automatically. And one of them is, is the Venturi, which is sort of a cone-shaped carbureted device. So does that go on top of the bottle? Well, let me show you how to do it. You hold it out there, over the glass. Okay. Just right over there. Oh, right here. And then we're going to pour some wine. Hopefully I don't spill it all over <laughs> It's okay. And if you hear it, oh yeah, it's slurping. And what that's doing is aerating the wine, so it allows us to drink it sooner. So it decants right before you drink it. Exactly. It's oh, that's cool. It's before you drink it. This is the Venturi. It's a very popular item. It actually become very uh, famous around, around town. Now, the one I use in my office all the time to, to change the wine is the Bev Wizard. Mm -hmm. I've never seen that. I know, unfortunately, it's not very attractive. You know? <laughs> what is that? It's, it's magnetic. It's got a little aeration device. And what you do is you stick it at the end of the bottle, mm -hmm. and then you pour it into the glass from there. Okay. And it, it do actually does a lot. It changes the wine quite a bit. And it's why I use it in my office, because um, it allows you to What's advance that? it. It's, that's also an aeration hole. Okay. I What's kind of cool is if you take this, put it against the... the uh, bells down there. Oh, next to the bell. Oh, whoa. Oh, hey, oh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's basically like a big magnet. That's what it is. So and wait, can I ask you about this OMG wine? Well, I heard you say on, on, on set OMG a few times. Well, that I is, gotta uh, keep it real. Exactly. Well, there's a whole tech speak brand of wines that we carry. We have oh, OMG so and Too cool. Good To Be True and all kinds of things. Oh, I love it. And this one's yeah, fun, really fun, too. Okay, what's this gadget down okay, here? Okay, this one, uh, this is for the 60s throwback guys. <laughs> oh, no. You know, I don't know if you smoke this or yeah. you pour wine. Oh, no. I won't demonstrate it, but what it does, it goes to the end of the bottle like okay. this, and then and you pour it into the bowl first, okay. and you pour it into your glass. So, so it's basically like, a, like another decanter? It's a decanter, but it's like a single glass decanter. Okay. Now What's this one again, see this is the gumball machine, I call it. Oh, yeah. You put this in your in your decanter, uh -huh. and you pour the wine through it, and it okay. spirals down. Let's see. You want to try pour it? Pour it for us, okay, yeah. Okay, here we go. I mean, this is just kind of to wow your guests This, this is Yeah, this, I don't think this does anything extra. But it's really cool looking. But it's kind of fun, isn't it? <laughs> and if you get the, the plastic gumball, you get a free gumball next time. It's really great. <laughs> this guy is this for uh, this is cooking kinda, or what I don't this you know this one I haven't figured out quite I used to get in trouble for doing this as a kid but yeah go ahead put, it, in the, put it stick it in the glass it, uh, this is yep. right okay right and then push then squeeze the bulb oh we're doing one of these things okay see Wait, all these little bubbles that, that comes out it's aerating the wine oh. but it's kind of isn't that kind of strange it's kind of strange but actually it's kind of cool and actually you can really smell the wine when you do that yeah, huh? it does open it up quite it's a bit pretty okay well I know bit. that you've brought some um, champagne for us because couldn't I go, did. Go through the holidays without the champagne. No, huh? this is uh, called Placer. It's from Tatinger. It's a wonderful champagne, traditional blend of Pinot Noir and Chardonnay, and this is French made in the bottle champagne. You ready? Uh, you're a pro at this. Yeah, right? here we go. Watch this. Here we go. Oh, yes. All right. Nicely done. Toasting to a beautiful new year. And Paul, thank you so much for joining us it is today. It's my pleasure. Where can we find out more info about you? Well, if you go to wineofthemonthclub.com and if you use KUSI as a promotion code, you get 15% off all the items and the champagne we saw today. Cheers to you. Cheers to you. Happy Good New luck. Year. <laughs> I heard she almost took right. out a couple. Yeah, of we want to. We want to wish our cameraman well, who's in the <laughs> yeah. hospital today. Yeah, <laughs> black and blue. Court. No, not really. <laughs> I love the guy. He says, great tips. I mean, how many people get to use that device in their office? I know. Since I use this in my office. I like, giggled at first and then remembered what he does for a living. <laughs> Not many people can say that. I use this at work. <laughs> I use this at work. Yeah. 